Graphics cards nowadays are more powerful than what they used to be. They are not only powerful, but they have some exciting new features which will make your gaming or designing more easy and exciting. So if you want to update your system with one of the best graphics cards in 2020, you'll want one of these cards. We've put together 5 of the best graphics cards you'll get for the money. The GPUs here are all capable of playing AAA titles with ease, and some of them will even give you beastly VR performance. With respect to release of the new graphics cards and their performance, our roundup consists of the cards that will give you the most bang for your buck. Just remember that your best graphics card might not be the same for everyone. What seems best to you might be useless for someone else. The graphics cards we've reviewed here are based in order of price and performance. What's up geeks and gamers, Mizzix here from Archives Media and today we're going to be covering the top 5 best graphics cards for the money. This video is brought to you by HideMe. HideMe VPN service encrypts your internet access and provides an anonymous IP address so you can browse the internet securely. With all the security issues created by hackers, censorship, identity theft, and service providers monitoring user activity, your online security has never been more threatened or important. HideMe provides an easy to use service that protects your identity. Don't risk your online privacy or security. HideMe will keep you hidden. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 570. While nowhere near the top of our list for power, this is a superb value pick if you're looking for performance on a budget. AMD's Polaris architecture has been around for a few years, and while it's beginning to show its age, it is also significantly cheaper now than when it launched. It's an excellent card to tackle the current 1080p era of gaming, and if you're still using integrated graphics or an older graphics card, it's a cheap upgrade. Overall, the RX 570 typically comes out slightly ahead of the GTX 1650. It does draw more power than Nvidia's 16 series of cards and the 1060, but it can also regularly be had for less than $30 or $40 of the other competitor's price. Most desktops are more than capable of running the 150 watt card without any difficulty, though you will need a 6 pin power connector or possibly an 8 pin connector. Sales routinely drop the price of the RX 570 cards to $110 to $120, so as long as your power supply is up to snuff, the RX 570 pretty much kills off the market for anything lower. If you're building a budget PC or upgrading from an older or outdated GPU, the RX 570 is a great starting point. Number 4. The AMD Radeon RX 590. The RX 590 does a lot better compared to its predecessors, the RX 580 and 570, although most specs are the same. This is because it uses an enhanced 12 Nm processor unlike its predecessor. This leads to lower power consumption and better thermal efficiency. This in turn keeps the graphical performance intact throughout your gaming sessions and you get to enjoy good 1080p and 1440p frames at such a low price. It is actually one of the cheapest and best graphics cards you can find these days. The price gap between this card and its competitors from Nvidia like the GTX 1060 is huge. AMD is always an affordable option. One of the main reasons is that Nvidia always pumps huge power into their best video cards whereas AMD looks around for what is needed and comes up with something cheap yet efficient. Interestingly, at such a low cost, it's a VR ready graphics card. Obviously, you shouldn't be expecting a lot from this in the case of VR, but it still is up to the mark and leaves you happy in most cases. Its overclocking is decent as well. It does wonders when you put it under extreme loads. However, by doing so, the power needs go up to 150 watts, and for this, you definitely would need to think about your power supply in the system and if it's a lower wattage power supply. Number 3. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660Ti The GTX 1660Ti by Nvidia is the best mid-range graphics card for now. It is mainly aimed at mainstream gamers and actually delivers at that level. The GPU lacks some features which the new RTX graphics cards have. There is no ray tracing or DLSS, though it's based on the new turning architecture of Nvidia which gives unique features at better performance compared to the previous GTX series graphics card. It is affordable 
and does not compromise on performance at all. So for mainstream gamers who are looking for a new budget graphics card, this is probably the best deal for you. Speaking of how it delivers, it's one of the best 1080p GPUs and for 2K as well. For 2160p resolution, it is not the best one, but it's better than many. As a reference, this gaming card pushed 90, 75, and 42 frames per second while playing Battlefield 5 at 1080p, 1440p, and 2160p respectively. This sort of performance would be a dream for many mainstream gamers. For many people, the GTX 1050 Ti used to be an affordable option, but with the release of this new GPU, it took the place to be the best affordable graphics cards of 2020. Number 2. The MSI GeForce RTX 2060 The RTX 2060 is the newest mid-range graphics card by Nvidia. It allows you to enjoy ray tracing at a low budget. Not only this, you get a creamy 1080p performance alongside good 2K performance as well. Even at 4K it won't disappoint you, but things will mainly depend on what you are playing and your system specs. Being one of the best Nvidia graphics cards, it has much often been compared to the AMD RX 5700, which is considered to be its closest competitor. They both take one another at different places, and it's worth mentioning that the RX 5700 was thought to be a tough entry for the RTX 2060. But then Nvidia came out with the RTX 2060 Super, and it was cheaper and more powerful. In this race of graphical power, Nvidia is always a step ahead of AMD, but then their graphics cards are always more expensive as well. At the performance level it does wonders. The RTX 2060 not only hits better FPS than its predecessor, in fact in some places it even hits what the GTX 1070 Ti used to give. This is exceptional, because there is a huge difference between these two prices. Its average FPS for Shadow of the Tomb Raider was around 90, but this is what was expected from it. However it was able to hit 30 FPS in the same game at 4K which is astonishing. On top of this FPS you also get ray tracing features. The GeForce RTX 2060 is literally the best mid-range graphics card one could buy on the market right now. Number 1. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2080 Super The RTX 2080 was an above average and somewhat budget graphics card for high-end gaming but the RTX 2080 Super took its place when it was released back in July of 2019. It offered more power compared to the RTX 2080 and at the same time cost less. The main reason for the Super GPUs was the competitive move against AMD. So they were successful in their move but at the same time they did something interesting which was price and power comparison with the RTX 2080. Now for those who already owned an RTX 2080 this is bad news. But for those of you who are waiting for the RTX 2080 price to drop or save some bucks to buy an RTX 2080, it's good news because you will get a cheaper variant that is more powerful. About its performance, the above mentioned RTX 2080 Ti is an exceptional in all ways, even 4K and VR. But for this one, VR would be a bit tight. It surely will offer superb 2K performance in VR as well, however, with a 4K for AAA titles, it may not be an ultimate thing at the price level. For 1080p gaming, you will get well over 100 FPS in most games, including some AAA titles. And for 2K, it easily hits 70 FPS. However, for some intense graphic heavy games like Warhammer 2 or Metro Exodus, it will hit 40 FPS at 2160p, which is still low, but better than many other more expensive options out there. Now who should upgrade to the RTX 2080 Super if you're thinking about an upgrade? This upgrade of course is not for an RTX 2080 or a GTX 1080 Ti owner. But if you have anything less than that in your rig then it's time to upgrade. Because the best 2K GPU costs less and is more powerful than many. Also if you're buying a new graphics card and want to build a powerful gaming setup this is the best option. Because again this won't cost you a fortune like the RTX 2080 Ti, but at the same time will give you enough horsepower for mainstream and high-end gaming at good settings.
Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you made it this far, maybe consider dropping a like and hitting the subscribe button because you made it to the end. So that's all I got for you. But that's all I got for you right now. If you subscribe, I got more for you in the future. Thank you so much. The links to all the products will be in the description. I got links to my social media below as well. And thank you. I really mean it. Thank you for making it to the end of the video.